When your soil base saturation gets out of balance, there are numerous amendments you can add to your soil to correct that imbalance. So we've talked about percent base saturation and the fact that calcium and magnesium and sodium and possibly hydrogen might be out of whack at some point in time as far as a balance. Now, you don't have to worry if your base saturation is off. There's ways that you can go ahead and adjust that and make changes to get your soil more in balance. And you do that by applying different soil amendments. When you hear your agronomist talk about adding soil amendments, we're simply talking about something to change that percent base saturation to better balance your soil. The whole point of a soil amendment is to move one cation that we don't want or that's in excess to another cation that's more favorable. When our percent base saturation is out of balance, say for example our calcium level is too high, then we can add a soil amendment to help reduce that amount of calcium then we can replace that with different cations that may be limiting, such as potassium or magnesium. We're trying to amend the soil. So in order to amend the soil, it has to have the ability to move that specific cation off the soil colloid and out of the way to allow another cation to take its place. So one issue that you might face is if you're not getting this movement that you're needing, you're building up excess magnesium in the soil and you'd like to move that, some of those issues might be drainage issues that you need to address first. It's hard to flush a nutrient out if it has nowhere to go. It's critical that you apply the correct soil amendment for that specific cation that may be out of balance. For example, if you're low in calcium, you need to apply a high calcium lime. For soils that are low in both calcium and magnesium, you're going to need to switch that lime application to a dolomite lime. Low magnesium can be addressed with Epsom salts. In high pH situations, elemental sulfur works well at stripping those cations and replacing them with others. In high calcium soils where you need both potassium and magnesium, KMAG is an excellent source. In areas that have high sodium and low calcium, gypsum is going to be a good source. And in low potassium soils, muriate of potash works really well as adding additional potassium. The fact that 0060, a lot of people look at it as from a nutrient standpoint. It's a potassium source, a potassium chloride. It can also be looked at from a soil amendment. If I've got a low base saturation of potassium, I'd like to get that up. One of the easiest ways to do that is to apply a potassium source and allow that cation to take the place of another one. So 0060 can both be a nutrient as well as a soil amendment. It's critical that you apply the correct soil amendment for that specific cation that may be out of balance. For example, if we're dealing in a low soil pH situation where we have a lot of magnesium that's low in the soil, we want to make sure that we're adding a magnesium-based lime rather than something that's going to throw that balance off even more. Gypsum is calcium sulfate. It's a great source for moving one cation off the soil colloid and allow calcium to replace it. So if I've got a situation where I have excess sodium, gypsum might be a really good solution there because the sulfur that's in the calcium sulfate is going to grab a hold of the sodium move it down and let calcium replace it. Many of your soil tests will actually provide recommendations for different soil amendments if you're asking for recommendations as part of that soil analysis. This is a good starting point to take a look at what specific amendment is going to best fit that soil situation. As there are many different soil amendments, in many cases you're going to have to use multiple amendments to address that imbalance in the soil. We spend a lot of money on soil fertility. The whole principle behind soil amendments is to try to get the base saturation back into a good balance. Having a good soil test, a full soil test that gives you all the information, spending $25 to $30 for that soil test could save you thousands of dollars in production. Next we're going to talk about another cation, potassium, which is essential both on the percent base saturation and in plant production. For more information on soil amendments, go to our website at agroliquid.com.